Hello, everybody, and welcome back once again to Lambo News. It is December 2nd already, which is absolutely insane. It feels like just yesterday that it was November 1st, and now it's already the 2nd of December. So, 23 days until Christmas. So, that's awesome. So, yeah, let's not waste any more time and get straight into these news topics, starting off with China, which is probably Donald Trump's favorite place of all time. China recently has been having some serious protests due to their whole zero COVID policy. And this zero COVID policy, it's very, very much hardcore. So, let me just kind of explain this. All my fellow Americans, you know, y'all you, you probably know exactly how America is in terms of COVID right now. There isn't very much of it. There's basically no more regulations whatsoever, except for, like, in doctor's offices, and even that, I'm not sure if that's still going on or not. But last time I checked, I'm pretty sure you still have to wear masks and stuff in doctor's offices. But... They may have changed that, I don't know, but, yeah. Basically, though, there's no more COVID restrictions here whatsoever. But in China, they're actually getting about 30,000 new cases a day, and they have what is known as the zero COVID policy. And this policy involves some pretty crazy shit in order to prevent people from getting COVID-19, they actually do crazy things like locking people inside their own houses by welding their doors shut. Now, obviously, that is a massive fire hazard. Like, could you imagine being like locked in your house by having your door welded shut? That's actually crazy. Could you actually imagine having your door welded shut because of the potential of COVID-19. That, that's actually crazy. And this fire hazard, of course, actually did prove itself to be just that uh, rather recently when an apartment building actually managed to catch on fire and killed several people. And ever since then, pro massive protests in massive numbers at a time have erupted in the streets of China, especially in places, I believe, like Hong Kong and, like, the bigger cities like that. So, here's the thing with protesting in China. Obviously, again, we're, I'm going to do another comparison between China and the U.S. So, protesting in China and protesting in the United States are, two are obviously two very different things. Let's say that you have about 5,000 people and you all want to protest against something that's going on in the United States. You could go to some random like public area with your 5000 people and as long as you keep it as long as you keep it peaceful, then you can most likely just protest peacefully without any real interference. Sure the police are probably going to show up, but they're probably just going to be there to make sure that your peaceful protest does not end up turning into like a riot or anything. But basically, though, no one really gets arrested, and everyone just protests peacefully, and then they go home. And nothing really ends up happening. Unless, of course, they start damaging property in the process, then it, then obviously they're going to get prosecuted for it. But basically, the police in America, with protests anyway, don't usually do anything that's that unreasonable. In China, there's pretty serious punishments for protesting. In the old 2014 protest, there were actually eight leaders of the protests that were sentenced to about 16 months in prison for a public nuisance offenses. Yeah, that was... Now, remember, those were the rulings from the 2014 Hong Kong protests. So I would imagine that the punishments for this would be pretty similar to that. But could you imagine going to prison and everyone in there is like, huh, what are you in for? Oh, well, I peacefully, well, I, I actually held a group to peacefully protest these stupid COVID restrictions that our government puts in place, and I got sent to prison for it. Could you imagine actually being sent to prison for COVID restrictions? <laughs> like, could you imagine actually being sent to prison for that? that? That's insane to me. But, yeah. 
overall though, these protests are getting pretty damn violent, honestly. There's literally videos that I've seen where the protesters are picking up full guardrails and actually smashing into the riot shields of the police with them. Like, they're... They're going pretty crazy. And... <coughs> excuse me. But, speaking of crazy... Let's talk about some of the crazy things that have been going on with iShowSpeed. iShowSpeed recently... Now, I don't know very much about this, honestly. But what I do know is apparently he, he actually promoted some, like, crypto scam. And basically he scammed his viewers with crypto. Now, personally, from, from the video footage that I've seen, I, I don't think that... You know, Speed really intended to do this 100%. Like, or any, like I, I think honestly, some people came up to him, and with at the with just with the age he's at, I really think that he didn't really know better. He was kind of led into this whole thing, and then he ended up accidentally promoting this whole crypto scam to his viewers, and now he's pretty much getting canceled for it. And I show Speed for those who don't know who he is. He's basically a streamer slash YouTuber that. You know, he's known for his hyperactivity. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say. He says some pretty crazy stuff sometimes. He's pretty funny. But none of the stuff that he has actually said, at least in my opinion, comes nowhere near to the things that Kanye West recently said, which is actually the next topic uh, that we're going to be going over right now. So Kanye West basically just came out as a Nazi. Yeah. On, I believe it's like Alex Jones, something like that. I believe that's what the podcast is called. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Alex Jones is the guy's name. Whatever. I don't know too much about the podcast name. All I know is that Kanye West was on it, and he was saying stuff like, you know, Hitler wasn't all that bad, and that, you know, like, Germany did some good stuff. Basically saying that, you know, the like Nazi Germany wasn't all that bad. And, you know, Hitler did some good stuff, basically being pro Hitler. That's not good for an influencer that has announced their fucking like their intentions to run for president of the United States in twenty twenty four. And speaking of that election in 2024, it looks like it's going to be yet another election between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. I, I really hope that Donald Trump goes back in office instead of fucking Joe Biden. I'm sick of these gas prices, mate. I really am. But, yeah. So, Kanye West is basically getting canceled for basically being a Nazi. It's, it's actually crazy. Like, even Jones was kind of just completely shocked. <laughs> but, yeah. That, I, I honestly, I don't even know what to say. I don't really listen to Kanye West. I, I don't really care for it too much, honestly. I, I've never really cared for Kanye West's music or anything. I know he's been really influential to a lot of people, though. And for someone like that to be you know, saying stuff like, you know, these pro-Nazi things. It's not a very good look. It's really not a good look whatsoever because obviously, you know, like, obviously, when has saying anything that is, like, pro-Nazi ever really going to be a good look? And what's really sad to me is that people actually try to defend him. They're trying to say stuff like, you know, oh, it's his First Amendment rights, you know, freedom of speech to say this stuff. And they're absolutely right, but freedom of speech does not exactly mean free of consequences and free of criticism for the things that they say. That, that, that's not exactly what that means. Yeah, you have every right to say it without anyone, you know, like, punishing you legally for it. But people also have, like, just because you have free speech doesn't exactly mean that nobody else has free speech to counter your stuff, like counter your points, what you're trying to say. And that's a thing that a lot of people don't seem to realize here. So, yeah. It's just absolutely mad. I, I've never expected to see 
Kanye West of all people become like pro Nazi. I, I I still can't believe I'm even saying that right now. I cannot believe that I'm I'm actually having to sit here on Lambo News and say that Kanye West has shown like actual pro Nazi stuff. Like Kanye, uh, uh, honestly, what the hell did he expect to happen? Like, whenever you show sim- like, whenever you show sympathy for somebody that basically caused the death of about six million innocent Jewish people, like, did he really expect no one to like fire back at him? Did, did he really expect that? Because he's been like walking off of shows after five minutes after he gets called out for this stuff. Like, come on, man. Honestly. It's just, it's so fucking stupid. It really is just that level of stupid. But, yeah, I've really got nothing else to say on this whole thing here. Just been an absolute mess. So, yeah. That's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know. See you guys next time. This has been Lambo News.